Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and today's build is going to be one that was suggested by a viewer on one of on one of my YouTube comments, which reminds me of something that I wanted to bring up. I I know I haven't been doing it lately, but I do I do still have a tab on my Discord for build suggestions. So if you guys have a have a suggestion you want me to work with, Trust me, however crazy I may think it is, I will probably still try it. Because I am always in the mood to try out new things and always looking to pick up eh, pick up on some interesting ideas you may have. And, you know, if you don't have Discord, don't feel like joining my Discord server in order to drop a suggestion, just do what this viewer did and drop it on a, drop it on a YouTube comment. Trust me, I do see them, and if you have a decent suggestion, or if you, even if you have a really weird suggestion, drop it. We'll see what and we'll see what happens. There's very few suggestions I won't work with, aside from suggestions that involve surge anchor. You have been warned. So let's go ahead and roll that soundtrack choice. All right, we're doing piano today. So, those of you who have been following my Fueled Berserk Spotlight series will probably find this build to be very familiar. I also raved about it in my tier list video. You already know what's coming. They wanted me to use this with the awe robe the <clears throat> the all robe spark contact field berserk and dark katana everything else is up to my discretion so here's how i think i'm gonna do this we're gonna use actually no we don't need to use chaotic rift we can use let me see something real quick Use that and actually no I think we should use something that is good for stunning enemies which yes does put us very firmly in the electricity camp Which, actually, that means that I should do something different. Hang on. There we go. And because I know the sort of damage output this build has, we are going to use the retro floor plan. Because otherwise, I feel as I would I would feel too bad for my enemies using this build on a, on the regular difficulty of floor layout. Now that having been said, this is primarily a melee build, so we're gonna have to be careful. We're probably going to want to take some more some more things for control. I would very much myself like to pick up. Something like Binary Splashdown would be particularly nice for this build. As far as where I would want to start, I'm per I would personally say get Atlas out of the way just because he can his mooks, namely his Earth Knights, can block my can block my frost fan. Everything else will be easy enough. Alright, so that means that on our hoop, seeing as Freya is third in line... going to need to find another control method because her elemental mooks are going to be able to shut down my freeze tactic. So 
So another another form of ranged control and probably some sort of jump arcana would be most preferred. Uh, we'll see what happens. And there we go. And that's why control is going to be so important, because they they definitely have numbers on their side. So we need to counteract numbers by controlling the battlefield and playing smart. Which means that if need be, we need to wait for our cooldowns. Alright, so we're gonna upgrade that for sure. Uh, Mock Stunner might be, might be a good range control. So now what we need is to first see who's at our red portal, because if we can trade Fueled Berserk for either a Doctor Song Relic or a chance at some a chance at some more upgraded Arcana, that is what I am going to do. no way I'm not leaving this floor with the Stygian Turtle Shell. Bowser Shell is just going to create more, de more defense and give us better opportunity. The better our survivability, the better chance we have of getting through this run in one piece. Lastly, let's come down here and find that red portal, see who our vendor is. There we go. It is Nox, and what does he have for us? Hmm, real honestly, the pewter bracelet is probably about the best thing, the best thing he's got right now. So let's take that. That means we can safely upgrade Fueled Berserk. And yeah, we'll grab Mox Stunner. Play this smart and don't just rush in like a nincompoop. We should get through this run just fine. The reason why I'm taking it so carefully, even though this build is very powerful, as I've brought up before, this build is strong, but it's primarily melee focused. And you know what that means. It means we can get easily overwhelmed if we're not being careful.
So we are going to be just a little bit slower and a little bit more cautious. Understand that well enough. I, am, I assume most of you do. Ow. All right. So far, so good. We're not. We're not getting horribly overwhelmed. Might want the surefire rocket, as that gives, that will, in the long run, give us more access to to Frostman. And of course, more access to Frostman means more control over the battlefield. that, now we just need to find the red portal. I know Christmas is right around the corner. I hope you guys have some have some good plans. Hey, I hope you're going to be spending qual good quality time with your friends and family. I know it can sometimes be hard to predict things, especially with a big old with a big old winter weather storm brewing here in North America. Not all of you are in North America, but many of you are are already feeling the pain of the winter storage. Oh well, that's kind of a no-brainer. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade this now. We'll grab that, upgrade that. And yeah, we're probably going to want to upgrade... Or grab the Surefire Rocket upgrade for sure. And that should set us up quite nicely, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of Atlas. <laughs> you know what's really terrible, Atlas? Your puns.
Alright, I don't think bosses are going to be my primary concern. And I'm not going to change my basic. Now, as far as having a good jump arcana is concerned, I'm happy with what I have. But... I do think that... Thunder Drop might be more ideal, just considering that we've got Freya com coming up. That interesting timing. Spectacular stunt, my friends, but it was all for naught. It's such a shame. Such a shame. Actually, I think the line is such a pity. <clears throat> and am I starting to slip on my space balls knowledge? Shit, I need to watch the Blazing Vault for Sh for Shu and his minions. That would be, of course, because they are weak to fire. Oh shit! I mistakes have been made. There's nothing here I really want. But... I will probably buy the Tears of Midas. Just in hopes that we get either the Helm or the Dagger, or if we're lucky, both. I actually think that would be Considering that we have a Fueled Berserker run going with Spark Contact, yeah, why not? Alright, and if we get enough money, I will definitely aim for a relic from Dr. Song, but we don't have a ton of opportunity for that. As a matter of fact, it might be just the boss we left, and yes, I should have taken it. Don't judge me. Yeah, it's just the boss room, so we're probably not going to be able to afford that, and I don't want to give up Blazing Bolt. Archer is just making everything harder than it needs to be. Silly bird, what are you doing up there? The Riku is just climbing up on the air conditioner, just searching. For what? I don't know. I think she's just exploring. Lore in the old apartments.
Yeah, I see you up there, bird. I see you up there. I don't know what you're doing up there, but I see you up there. Oh man, what a beautiful dead end. I'm so glad I so glad I found that. Opportunity for a good. Yeah, we have an opportunity for the mercenaries dagger. <laughs> and since I do have at least one Midas relic plus the retro floor plan, I feel as though that's a good one to take. Indulge our sweet tooth in this run. Speaking of sweet tooth, let me ask you a question real quick. What is your your favorite your favorite Christmas? I don't know, sweet cookie, both, maybe both. What is your what is your favorite holiday holiday? Surely there has to be some some tasty little sweetness that you would that you that you like above the others. He probably should have just field preserved there, but I thought he was gonna break out of it quickly. And give me the freebie. Totally misjudged which direction he was going to send that attack from. Granted, that doesn't put me in severe danger, but it puts me in more danger than I would like to be in. Rid of those nitroglycerin barrels, then wait. Oh, do you think you're fooling someone? Get out of here with that. Really nothing there that I want. Hey, maybe that? Like, I don't know. Ooh, this is definitely something I want to spend my gold on.
yeah, when you're using the awe robe, you definitely want to look for those for those robe upgrades. That did not work out as well as I would have liked for it to. To which I can only respond by saying, ouch. Alright, I'm getting pummeled. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I care about the Blazing Vault upgrade at this point. I think what I'll do is I'll purchase it anyway, just to remove it from the rotation so that hopefully something that will help out later will show up there, like maybe Bouncing Surge. That'd be nice. And another beautiful dead end. Just about Fibonacci sequenced me into nothing. Alright, that means that we need to go this way to find the boss room. And I might as well grab that. Now let's head back and grab a little healing. There, that's much more comfortable. Alright, this should hopefully get us through to the end of the run. But I mean, if not, we always have a... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how best to do this without setting off the stupid nitroglycerin barrels. Um, ooh, Puffy Parga, perfect. Now we can just evade straight through enemy critical hits. Seriously, those guys scare the crap out of me. I am not fr I am not friendly with the ice archers. Certainly, as you can see by now, the ranged control is what's making this build <laughs> this build pop. Without the ranged control, I would essentially have to wade through enemy attacks in order to in order to reach the most dangerous foes in, in a room, and that is just tantamount to failure. Which means we can basically just. Go. 
we can basically just save Fuel Berserk for the most dangerous enemies. And bosses. Ooh, do I have anything I want to sell you? Probably not, because I didn't find the Dagger of Midas, so there's no real point. I'm sure you can hear the birds just having a field day over here. They're just so happy to be here. We'll grab that, though. That's useful. One more healing potion for the road, sir. Thank you. Now, even though she is going to break out of her break out of her stun state fairly quickly, that doesn't mean that we that we don't use fuel preserve. See, it still made that fight super easy. I like Sonic Breakers, but it's not what I need right now. You need to be gotten rid of. Let's wait for Frost Fan so I can take out multiple of these ones at once. Which, yeah, it was only two, but that's still multiple. I could take him up before he hit me. Oh well. That's what I get for falling victim to my own hubris. And there's Bouncing Surge, but it's the non upgraded version. You know what? It's still useful over that. There we go. I think we're all set for the Sura fight. Got him with the dash. Oh, baby. Yep, that was a good one. And as you can see, by playing it just a little bit more carefully, you can definitely take a melee-focused run through a retro floor plan <clears throat> setting. You just need to be a little bit, little bit slower and a little bit smarter. 
and it never hurts to have a good amount of control. Trust me, without Frost Fan and... <clears throat> Why do I keep forgetting the name of it? Mock Stunner. Without Frost Fan and Mock Stunner, that would have been a much more difficult affair. So, even though I don't remember your name, I would have to look it up in the YouTube comments again, I'm sorry. But, I hope that this was everything you were hoping for. I'll make sure to have your name in the description of the video, so those of you who wanted to know who recommended, the, or recommended that I play around with this run some more, you have that person to thank for it. Like I said, I'll make sure to put their name in the com- in the com- I'm sorry, cut on the comment section, I'm dumb. In the description of the video. I thank you guys for watching. I would like you to put something in the comment section. Namely, what's your favorite Christmas sweet? Because I'm curious and, hey, I'm in a bit of a baking mood. Maybe there's something I want to take to see my family on Sunday. So, comment below. Let's have, some, let's have a little bit of fun with that. Keep it civil, of course. And I will catch you in the next video. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.